So a little while back, I opened a box downstairs and this was in it. And I asked you in that video if you wanted to see a more comprehensive look at this particular smartphone. And you guys came back with a bunch of thumbs. The Elephone S8. Probably never heard of it before, which is fine, as my good pal Ryan would say. But before I tell you the price, I want to show you the spec list. MediaTek Helio X25 Decacore processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, 8 megapixel front camera, 21 megapixel rear, a 6 inch 2K screen, fingerprint sensor, and a 4000 milliamp hour battery. And one of the most impressive screen to body ratios I've ever seen on a smartphone. All right, so how much should all that cost? Around 239. 249 in that region so under 250 dollars you can get that spec list it's quite shocking and as you can see there is almost no bezel at the top or the sides there's a bit of a chin but that exists to house what is a fingerprint reader and your forward facing camera reflective blue mirrored finish this is the 21 megapixel camera, a single 21 megapixel shooter, the speaker, as well as a USB type C connector. Power switch has a texture on it, which is a thing I've been talking about for a while. Put a little color on it as well. They were able to fit a couple of sensors up in this slim bezel at the top. The construction is glass as well as aluminum, so it feels high quality. You've got a little SIM tool. They've included a case, just in case. You've got a case. That's not such a bad look. Surprisingly high quality cable. Metal tip there. USB-C to headphone adapter included. No headphone jack on this device, bit unfortunate, especially considering its scale. It's like you could fit it in there. Dual SIM tray. Face to screen. That's, that's nice, so you don't put it in back Backwards. I have never seen that before. So I have the unit booted up now and you can now appreciate how much of the front of it is display. Now the display is 1440p, which is another thing you probably wouldn't expect in a device that's under $250. Close to stock Android and surprisingly snappy feeling. This is all stock stuff and you can see here it's running Android 7.1.1. The home button also operates as your back button. So a single tap will take you back and a push and hold will bring up your multitasking. I've I've looked at a lot of displays in this environment and because it's so bright in here some of them get washed out but this one is actually quite decent i mean look at the beard hairs jack detail in the beard is always a very good sign man that looks good that's from a previous video, which is honestly, I mean, it was a serious mind blow for me. Put your headphones on, go watch that video. It'll be worth your time. This is kind of incredible, actually, that this is only 250. Speaker time, although my expectations are not super high. It kind of lets you turn up the volume to the point where the audio is crackling a little bit, so I don't recommend doing that. You probably want to be a couple notches down from max. I think you're probably going to have some headphones plugged into this or have some Bluetooth ones or something like that. Man, it's really too bad because the display is incredible. There's no room up top for the front facing camera. They've had to put it down here. It's lower than you would normally have it. Not such a big deal, just hold it up a bit higher. Not too shabby, actually. How the monitor here shows the phone with my hand holding it. That's artistic, Jack. We can adjust exposure. There's various different scene modes. Everywhere from auto, night, sunset, party, and so on. Adjustments for white balance, sharpness, hue, saturation. Toggle it in for whatever your taste is. It can shoot raw. Surprisingly, this phone at this price can shoot 4K video. Ooh. Kind of move in a bit. And some color. So that's a 21 megapixel picture. I have just eliminated the shutter delay. I turned off anti-shake and face detection and left zero shutter delay on. So if you have the other processing turned off, you can get that zero shutter. Also on top, we have panorama mode, a picture in picture mode. That's kind of interesting also in HDR mode. This fingerprint scanner here. So it's pretty quick. It's not the fastest I've ever tried, but it's nice. It gets the job done. That's the package right there. 
find it for around 250 bucks. You might pay a little bit more. You might pay a little bit less. But this is good news for customers. Phones are getting better at lower price points. This might be my new favorite phone under 300 bucks. I wish the speaker was a little bit better. I understand why they went with a single lens system. Glass on the front, glass on the back. This might be the coolest smartphone that people have never heard of. And I bet if you carry this thing around, you're gonna have a lot of people asking you, hey man, what is that? Where did you get it? And you're telling me you only paid 250 for it?